Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business and online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. Feel free to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Glenn Hausman, Hotel Interactive's editor-in-chief and host of a series of on-demand radio shows. Glenn is also a frequent moderator and speaker at leading travel industry events. And as an adjunct professor at New York University, Glenn teaches classes in consumer behavior and public relations and advertising. Glenn, welcome to VTV and thank you for joining us today. Great, thanks for having me. Uh, Glenn, our topic today is all about uh, local community. Uh, and it seems to be a topic that um, the online world is, is talking a lot about these days and, and really marketing at a, at a more local level. Um, in our conversations, you have said that hoteliers really are not doing enough to get business from their local community or their neighborhood. Right, that's for sure. Why, why do you think, why do hoteliers need to do more in their local communities? Uh, easy, easy pickings. I mean, you've got a built-in base of people there that see your brand on a daily basis. They're driving by on their way to work. You should be figuring out ways to communicate with the people in your community. Even if they're not going to be staying in your hotel, their in-laws are going to be coming in and they're going to need a place to stay from time to time. So it's really critical to uh, try to engender some sort of, uh, you know, loyalty amongst your local base. And if you have a full-service hotel, well, it is an absolute must. Right, so that's an interesting concept is, is actually using your local community as, as almost the word of mouth, if you will, for the advertising of your hotel. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you've got you've to get in there. You've got to get involved on all levels within your community. We all want to do business with the people that we're friends with, right? So it's up to the general manager and the owner of the property to make as many friends as possible within their community any way that they possibly can. Right, and... and um, Given that uh, most of the, uh, the travel shopping journey is spent online, in fact, a recent article that I read said 85% of, of, of some form of research or, or purchase of hotels is done online, how can a hotel use the internet uh, to um, endear themselves to their local communities? Well, I, I think that you need to figure out a way to become a, a place for the local community to come to you. I mean, are you holding, you hold a lot of events if you're a full-service hotel, for example, that are locally based events. Why not try to create uh, a connection to those guests? You've got to absolutely these days, of course, you know, have like a Facebook page and you can really talk about all of the things that are going on in your hotel to draw in people in the community. If you've got a restaurant or a bar, you should try to be communicating with them via the Facebook, via Twitter, even some of the, uh, the newer offerings that are out there in order to get them to come in. You could offer, you know, offer them opportunities, buy one, get one free drink specials to get them in, specials for local, locals only, things that will really get them to understand that you're a, a destination in and of itself. Right. So, so let's talk about that a little bit. What, yeah. what types of things, if I were a hotel in, in a particular community, you know, what are, what are three or five things that I could do to draw my local community into my hotel? All right. Uh, number one, are you, uh, are you on any, you know, town committees? That's a number one. I'm not saying run for mayor, but you've got to become friends with the mayor of your town. You've got to really become engaged in there. Perhaps you've got um, a, a, a chapter of the local Kiwanis Club or some sort of uh, equivalent. Why not talk to the guys that run that and offer them a, a room occasionally for free so that they could meet? Um, by not nickel and diming on that, you're going to engender their loyalty. Um, there's, let's see, what else can you, you do for locals? You know, you can... Uh, you've got to do charitable events. You can host charitable events that are for the benefit of the community. You've got this great piece of infrastructure in your hotel, and there are a lot of ways to get people to use that as the town center. But it's all about creating events and activities and specials that have those people come there. You want to create top of mind awareness in your community so if anyone ever says, hey, do you know a hotel in your town I should stay at? Bam, your hotel is the one that's at the top of that person's list. Right, and, and you know, I want to take a step uh, back again to, to the Internet. Um, yeah. And is there a way of, of using that, uh, that you know, community in, in itself um, uh, to help, 
communicate this to people outside of that community? I think that's where the, the Facebook page, for example, comes in handy and, uh, and the Twitter. It's a really great way for you guys to create a relationship with guests on an individualized basis. Um, you, you know, when you're talking to people on the internet, you've got to talk to them as if you're in the room with them. And you've got to strike up individual relationships from time to time with, uh, with, with people. One of the problems that hoteliers have is they're just not investing the time and effort into a lot of these, these practices and procedures. It's so new to them, they're scared of them, so they're ignoring them. So you've got to get out there and create that, you know, create that online awareness that people are going to start to come to your, your site for news and information about that community. And, and, and um, you know, given that that travel shopper is going to a lot of different websites before they uh, make a decision on, on what hotel they want to stay at, um, how do I propagate that across the internet? How do I get that, um, that you know, community feel that I've developed and spent time on uh, out to those people? Yeah, I mean, that's really where it comes down to developing that one-on-one -on -one relationships with people. Um, you've got to try to make an emotional connection with your potential guests. If you don't do that, then you're going to be fighting um, that pricing game. But when you can crack that code and really get to understand what each individual consumer is looking for and be able to find a way to make your hotel their happy place, then they're not going to start to look at other people. They might be the first time they come to that town, but after you get them in the door, then you can start to have that one-on-one -on -one kind of connection with them, really understand who they are, and maybe even start to deliver them opportunities that are geared specifically towards their needs. Today's consumer is a real fickle beast, and even though there are you know, hundred, you know, over a million room nights sold every single day here in the United States, um, everybody wants to be treated like an individual. And if you can figure out ways in your hotel, once they get in the door, to find out about them, know who they are, and then utilize the internet in order to propagate that relationship, then I think it's going to be really a win-win for uh, the owner and the guest. Right. So um, who's, who's doing a good job of this? What, what, uh, have you seen uh, any hotels that are effectively targeting their local communities? Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of hotels doing a, a great job, although um, you know, I, I hate to talk about Las Vegas over and over again these days, but either locals focused casinos do a really great job at pulling in people because they really understand uh, the nature that they are a community gathering place. Um, in, in Las Vegas, everybody's got their home casino, which is in like two or three miles of their particular house. So what the casinos have done is they've created a, an array of services amenities and then they push out deals and specials to those, those you know, particular uh, people that live within that community. Now, obviously, your hotel is not going to have those quite as many amenities, but if you've got a particular restaurant that you think is pretty good, well, then you should really be working on trying to promote that to the local community as well and keep figuring out new ways to get people to come back to your property. That's, uh, that's really the only way to do it. Most hotels have a great opportunity to move forward on this now because no one has really figured out the secret formula in order to make this local marketing a true internet success. Right, certainly, and, and, and uh, you know, Las Vegas uh, isn't what normally would come to mind as, as, a, as a community uh, in our trading right. area, but it's a good because example. Because we forget about it, because we think <laughs> about the big guys on the Strip. Yep. But there are many, many dozens of casinos that are off the Strip that the typical traveler would never, ever go to. Um, you know, for example, uh, Green Valley Ranch and Red Rocks casinos, they're not, they're not places that typically uh, tourists go to. People are either going there in conventions or they're attracting a specifically local audience. So looking at how those hotels are doing things, I think are really a good mirror for how you can see what you're doing. Right. So, so that begs the question, can a hotel uh, do both? Can they um, endear themselves to their local community and also be that uh, traveler uh, hotel or, or destination or um, uh, you know leisure hotel for people that are not part of that community. They absolutely can. And I think that part of the problem that's going on here is that local hoteliers forget about their local community. They're just ignoring it. They're just not really thinking of it. They're doing things the same they've been doing for the last 15, 20 years. They've got the sales executives that go out and they have meetings with people and it doesn't really turn into as much as they could. Um, so I think that really reevaluating what your efforts are on a local level are going to do a really big deal in terms of changing what's happening in your, in your property. They're just not focusing enough on it.
They think they are, but they're focusing on it in the wrong ways and not the correct ways. Shift a lot. I would say you've got to shift some of the time and effort for what your hotel people are doing on doing random sales calls into creating that online community for people to relate to your hotel brand. Um, most hotels don't have the confidence in it, so the end result is they don't really have somebody that's spearheading their online efforts or their social media efforts. It kind of falls between the cracks. Right, so it sounds like um, you're a proponent of perhaps rebalancing the time spent oh, uh, by your salespeople on uh, sales calls versus right. creating community events within your hotel. Right. Yeah, I mean, the problem is a lot of the hotel professionals that have come on board, remember, they started their job when the hotel industry was going up, up, up. So the end result is you got a lot of soft, uh, soft people who just sat back and answered the phone. They didn't really have to get aggressive and be creative and find new ways in order to connect with their potential audience. This downturn is a really great opportunity for hoteliers to really separate themselves from the others out there. And if you don't spend all of your time just going from meeting to meeting and rethinking how you're using your time, I think you're going to really be more effective. Glenn, again, thank you very much for uh, joining us on BTV and sharing your insights with us today. Great. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate your time. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.